Today I'm going to show you how to use the vector gadget in Rec Room. But first I need to explain what a vector is. In Rec Room specifically, a vector is a value that determines the direction and the amount of force applied to an object or a player. So for instance, if I have this cube here and I want this cube to be pushed forward, I would use a vector to say, hey, push it forward and push it with this much force. So to demonstrate using vectors, I've got this set of circuitry here. All it does is apply a velocity or an impulse to this cube right here. Now if I go ahead and hit the button, it's not gonna do anything. And that's because it doesn't have a direction defined by a vector. So let's create a vector gadget, vector gadget, and let's have it go to the right. Let's go ahead and make it. And then we hook up the vector to the direction. Now when I hit the button, it should push it to the right. And then if I rotate this 180, hit the button, it's gonna rotate it the other way. And then if I rotate it upwards, there we go. Now you can see when I hit the button that it's going to push it up. Now the way that we make it go up more is by changing this blue pin, the magnitude right here. So let's change that to five. Okay, now when I hit the button, it should go up even further. Now, it seems like the vector gadget and the vector create chip are very similar, if not nearly the same thing. You can actually split up the vector created by the vector gadget into its three components if you wanted to. So let's do a vector split, and then we can see by moving this here, it's got three different numbers here and I can put that in and it would basically do the same thing. Now, anytime you see one of these numbers right here, these really weird looking numbers with E to the negative something, just treat that like zero. That's all that means. The main reason I think that this even exists is because you can do things like attach it to stuff. So here we have a CV2 rotator and I'm gonna attach this to that. And then when I start the rotator, it should just start making the, the direction spin where you couldn't, you could do that with a vector create, but it would be a little bit more complicated than just hooking it up to a rotator. All right, so now we have the rotator gadget spinning and you can see that this is making the vector gadget spin. So now if I push this, it'll go whatever direction that the, actually air, that the arrow is pointing. So it goes that way, let's, let's scoot it back this way. There we go, let's wait and make it go that way. And that's basically how the vector gadget works. If that video helped you, make sure to throw a like on it Man, I've been trying to get better at CV2, but it's just, sometimes it just doesn't want to work with me. Like you'll have a trigger zone and you'll walk through it because it's supposed to be detecting players and it just doesn't trigger for some reason. And it's just, it's making me trigger. 